hi guys if you are new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you and welcome back today I will be sharing with you the four most requested cookie recipes my milk chocolate chip cookies my peanut butter my butter cookies and my brown sugar cookies first recipe I want to share with you is my chocolate chip recipe for my chocolate chip recipe you will need three cups of all-purpose flour two cups of a milk chocolate chip one cup of unsalted room temperature butter one cup of white sugar one cup of brown sugar two eggs that are at room temperature two teaspoons of hot water one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to start the recipe by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. The first thing you want to do is to cream your butters and your sugars together. This will take a couple of minutes. You can start by just turning the butter on and slowly adding your sugars. Once you have your white sugar, you want to add your brown sugar into the mixer. If you do not have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. Now that all the sugar is added, I want to turn my mixer on to medium speed and let it mix for about two to three minutes. and your sugars together once in a while you want to go in and scrape the bowl down to make sure everything gets incorporated well now that you can see that our butter and sugars are a nice creamy and a light brown in color it is time to add our eggs one at a time you want to add your egg and make sure that it is mixed well before you add the second egg. And we'll let this mix for about a minute. At this point, you want to add your vanilla into your mixer. And let that mix well, maybe about a minute. Now we want to take our baking soda and mix it with our hot water. We want to mix that well. Turn our mixer back on to medium speed and add this in. At this time, you want to add your salt into your batter let that run for about a minute at this time we are going to start adding our flour but you want to add your flour slowly or you will spill it all over the place so we will turn it on a low and add a little bit at a time now that I'm adding the last of my flour into the mixer I'm going to let this mix for a little bit. Now that we have our dough made, we are going to add our two cups of milk chocolate chips and we are going to fold that in to the dough. Now that I have my chocolate chips mixed well into my dough, I want to take my cookie scooper and get one scoop out. And you want to put these about one to one and a half inches apart from each other. This cookie 
recipe makes a lot of cookies. I have already filled up my largest cookie sheet. You can put this in a covered dish and put it in the fridge and make some more later. But I'm just going to get another cookie sheet and continue filling it up until I have used all my dough. I will put this in a 350 degree oven for about 7 to 8 minutes. The first pan of my chocolate chip cookies just came out of the oven. It did take 10 minutes, but when you see the brown around the outside, you want to take them out because they will continue to cook while it's on the cookie sheet, even though they're outside the oven. If you like yours a little bit crunchier, you can let it go for more, but I like mine soft. So I'll let these set for about five minutes so they can cool on the cookie sheet. Now that these cookies have been sitting here for about five minutes cooling on my baking sheet, I will take them off. Do not use metal on your baking sheet because you will scratch the non-stick coat that is on your baking sheet. I have taken my second and third pan of chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. They were both in there for about 10 minutes. I will allow them to sit on the counter in the cookie sheets for another five minutes so they can cool. Now that it's been five minutes, my second and third pan of cookies are ready to be put onto the plate. My second cookie that is most requested is my irresistible peanut butter cookies. In my peanut butter cookies you need one and a fourth cup of brown sugar, three fourths cup peanut butter, one and three fourths cups of all-purpose flour, four tablespoons of milk, a half a cup of vegetable shortening, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one egg at room temperature. To start my recipe, I have preheated my oven to 375. Now we are going to start making our peanut butter cookie dough. We are going to put our vegetable shortening and our peanut butter into our stand mixer. If you do not have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. We are going to cream the peanut butter and the shortening together on medium. While that is mixing, we're going to add our milk into our bowl. You will have to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Once you get that mixed well, you will add your vanilla extract. And you will mix this for about a minute until everything is mixed well. And now that our peanut butter and milk and shortening is mixed well, we will start adding our sugar into our bowl. You can see that our mixture is creamed now because it has lightened in color and looks a little fluffy. We are going to add our egg now. We're going to make sure that is mixed well. At this point, we are going to mix our baking soda and our salt into our all-purpose flour. And once we have mixed well, we are going to turn our mixer back onto medium speed and slowly add our flour mixture into our peanut butter mixture. Now that I'm mixing the 
last of my flour into my mixer. I'm going to scrape down the bowl. Get all the dough off of the mixer. With my cookie scooper, I will place my dough on my cookie sheet about one inch apart. With my peanut butter cookies, I take a fork and I press down on the dough like that. I will do this for all of my cookies. I will put these in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes. I will continue with my second cookie sheet. For this pan, I will do the same thing and just press down with a fork. It took these cookies about 11 minutes to get to this stage. I like them where they're a little bit chewy. So if you want yours to be crunchy, you will let it go past the 11 minute mark. But I will let these set on my cookie sheet for about five minutes. Now that these have been cooling for five minutes on my cookie sheet, I will take them off and put them onto a plate. And while they're there, they will cool for another five to 10 minutes. Now that my second batch of peanut butter cookies have came out of the oven, I will allow them to sit on the cookie sheet for about five minutes. Now that it's been about five minutes, I'm gonna take these cookies off of the cookie sheet and put them on a plate so they can continue to cool. The number third most requested cookie of mine is the butter cookie. In my butter cookie recipe, you will need four sticks of unsalted butter, that's one pound of butter, four cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cups of white sugar, three-fourths cups brown sugar, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, one egg at room temperature, one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. To start my butter recipe, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. To the mixer, we are going to add our butter and we are going to start to creaming that up. While we have the blender going, we are going to add our white sugar. to add our brown sugar and we're just going to let this blend for about another minute. At this point we are going to add our vanilla extract into the blender and we're also going to add our one egg. We are going to take our salt and our baking soda and we are going to mix this into our all-purpose flour. Now that we have this mixed, we are going to start adding this into our mixer. We will turn it on about a medium, medium-low speed and we will put the flour in a little at a time. Now that I have all my flour in my bowl, I will turn my mixer off and I will scrape down the sides of the bowls and get all the batter off of the beaters. Now that my dough is completely mixed, I will 
bake these in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. I will place these about an inch apart from each other. My first batch of butter cookies have came out of the oven. I put the other two batches in. I did get three pans of butter cookies out of this recipe. I will let these butter cookies sit here and cool off for about five. Now that my butter cookies have been cooling for about five minutes on my cookie sheet, I will take them off and put them on a plate so they can continue cooling. My fourth most requested cookie is my brown sugar cookie. For my brown sugar cookie, you will need two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of butter, which is two sticks, one egg yolk, three-fourths cup brown sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. To start my brown sugar recipe off, I have preheated my oven to 325. We are going to put our two sticks of butter into our stand mixer. And also with the butter we are going to put our brown sugar. And we are going to cream this together on medium speed. It will probably take about two to three minutes. It has been about two minutes and our sugar and our butter is light and fluffy. We are going to put our egg yolk in. We're going to let that mix for a few seconds. Now we are going to mix our salt and our baking soda into our flour. And we are going to turn our mixer onto medium speed. And we are slowly going to add our flour into our dough. I have put the last of my flour in my dough. I will let this continue to mix for about one minute more. Now that my dough is thick and has been mixed well, I am going to start making my cookies. I'm going to put my dough on a cookie sheet about one inch apart from each other. With my brown sugar cookies, I take a fork and I do a crisscross pattern. And I will do this for all of the cookies. these for about 10 minutes on 325 degrees. Now that this batch of brown sugar cookies have been cooling for about five minutes, I'm going to take them out of my baking sheet and put them on my plate. These recipes are, will be perfect if you have a large group of people that visit you over the holidays. Hot cocoa and apple cider complements these cookies very well. Don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what you would like to see me cook next. Thank you.